Hi, my name is Neil Luca. As the managing director here at CurrentWare, I've had the opportunity to manage both in-office and remote teams. I understand that managing a remote workforce comes with unique challenges. In this video, I will share with you my top tips for managing the productivity of employees that work from home. The first tip I have for you is to set clear expectations. When your employees work from home, you will not have the convenience of face-to-face -face communication. You need to work with your employees to set priorities and expectations ahead of time. How responsive should they be to instant messages and emails? What goals should they accomplish each day? How flexible is their schedule when they work from home? For example, are they expected to work 9 to 5, or can they break up their shifts to better fit their personal priorities? Setting these expectations ahead of time will help keep your employees productive and focused. With all that in mind, let's talk about how to measure employee productivity. If you're new to managing offsite employees, you may worry that they are not going to be as engaged at home as they would be in the office. As a remote manager, it's important that you hold your teams accountable. The first way to tackle this is with remote employee monitoring software. By monitoring the activity levels of your employees, you can better understand how they are spending their time. This lets you celebrate your engaged employees and address anyone that is taking advantage of the remote work situation and trying to misrepresent their efforts. Employee monitoring is also an excellent tool for understanding how your remote workforce operates. It'll help you answer important questions such as, are our employees more productive working from home or in the office? Are they logging in and out at the same time each day or are they working flexible shifts? Do we have departments with consistently high utilization rates? Are they overworked? Is there a need to grow a certain function or department? Are our employees making use of the software we've purchased? If not, do they need more training? Should we reevaluate the need for the software? The second way to measure productivity is to set goals and define KPIs, key performance indicators. The KPIs and goals you will use will depend on the context of your business. Here at CurrentWare, we have unique goals and KPIs for our developers, our customer service reps, and our marketing department. For example, our sales team has the goal of answering new inquiries about our products within 15 minutes. This metric is easy to keep track of with the analytics provided by our CRM, support desk, and live chat platform. This method of managing is fairly straightforward. Did my team meet their stated and measurable goals? If not, has something extraordinary happened to delay their progress? Have we set unrealistic goals? Or are our employees simply not as engaged while working from home? Another way to manage the productivity of employees that work from home is to get regular reports on their progress. You can get progress reports in a variety of ways, such as holding daily stand-up meetings where your team members outline what they accomplished yesterday, state their goals for the day, and mentioning anything that may be blocking their progress. You can also use project management software such as Trello or Monday to track progress towards milestones and key deliverables. If you will be offering your employees a flexible schedule when they work from home, you should do everything you can to use asynchronous communication such as email and project management tools. This helps keep your employees connected without the need to be online at the same time. If you need to have a real-time meeting, you should schedule it well in advance and be considerate about potential time zone conflicts. The next productivity boosting tip I have for you is to be mindful of how you handle communication. Remote teams rely heavily on emails and instant messaging to stay connected. This can lead to a phenomenon known as telepressure, which is an inflated sense of urgency to answer incoming instant messages and emails. Telepressure is a serious productivity killer. Research from the American Psychological Association has found that even brief interruptions can cost as much as 40% of an employee's productive time. Here's two things you can do to tackle this problem. Don't use emails and instant messages when you expect an immediate response. Designate another form of communication, such as phone calls or video chats for this. And finally, encourage your employees to set dedicated deep work periods where they can work completely uninterrupted. That's it for today. If you have other productivity tips for managing remote workers, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you'd like to track how your employees spend their time when they work from home, you can get a free trial of Browse Reporter or NPower Manager at currentware.com forward slash download. And finally, hit that subscribe button below for more videos about employee monitoring, cybersecurity, and Currentware's workforce management software. See you next time.